Hello everyone and welcome. I'm going to show you how to make a very simple vanilla, no mods included, Christmas tree. Oh yeah. Hello and welcome. My name is Jimmy Fizz. And how y'all doing? So, someone on YouTube asked me, messaged me, on how to make a Christmas tree out of this picture. And I looked at it, the picture's on the screen right now. And I was like, oh, that looks pretty easy. Um, I'm sorry, I don't know who actually did the original Christmas tree for this, but we'll do it. We're going to build it so you guys can build it on your server. So, this is going to be the start of, you know, the building series I've been talking about. So, we're just going to start with building a tree. Now, this is on my single player, and it's creative. So none of the materials I have gathered, but this is all vanilla. No mods, nothing. Just a simple vanilla building series. Um, so let's get started. So let me show you real quick uh, what the tree actually looks like. Fly over here. I love this flying, by the way. It's so cool. Look at this. This is very good. I actually really like this. So I actually did paint it up, and I didn't put any lights and stuff on it. But it's okay. Um... But yeah, it's really simple actually. So I'm gonna actually just show you how we did this. Alrighty. So first thing you need to do is you need to find an area that's seven by seven, usually flat, or you can put it on top of your building. It doesn't matter where you really put it. But it needs to be this size, and we need to place some foundations now. But before we do that, I like to put down the middle part real quick. Now we're gonna change this up a little bit by adding this to be too high because I want to be able to walk underneath the tree. So think of this as a uh, plant extreme tree. I don't know. <laughs> so, but we have that. So let's put out the foundations like so. So you want to do it exactly like this on all four sides. So it has the support because you need to add support to the limbs you would say to the tree because that way it doesn't fall out because you'll get error messages saying that oh it doesn't have a foundation to snap to and stuff so but that's it so this is what you need so far for the foundation alrighty so next thing I like to do as well as extend this up one more because we're actually going to put the ceilings down and sometimes it glitches out on how you place it so we're gonna place the ceilings here like so now you want to go out all the way, and basically you want to just copy the exact foundation of where you want to put the ceilings down. So, very simple, very easy, and it doesn't matter what materials you use. I like to use the wood, kind of make it kind of feel like it's, um, you would say s branches, <laughs> even though it's not really, but it's all good. So let's just do this, just do this to every side. Alrighty, so there you go. So now, ba -ba -ba -ba, we do the fun part. So this is very simple. So if you look at the picture again, we have this whole thing looks very complicated. Well, it's not. So we're gonna go as this is the front. So if we look at the picture, we're gonna go this. We're gonna hit number eight, which is the which one is this? Uh, thatch wall, right? Place it down. Gonna go to this one. Hit the nine one, which is dash wall left. And you're just gonna keep doing that. Eight, nine, eight, nine, eight, nine, eight, nine. Very simple actually. And see now it has like a some sort of like zigzag, so it goes up, down, up, down, back up. Back down. Alright, so now we got our lovely kind of thatch things. Now you don't have to do the thatch, but I think I like the thatch a lot in this picture. So we're, now we need to put the ceilings or the roofing. So we gotta put them in each different angle areas, like so. Very simple, very easy to do. 
Now the only hard part is trying to get it to sometimes go like this. You might have to get a different angle, as I have to do right now. Alrighty, so next we're going to add some interior lights. So let's add these foundation, or these are the uh, stand, trophy stands. So we can add the artifacts. Now if you don't have any artifacts, you can just simply get standing torches or some uh, wall torches. And we're going to put them in each and every one of these uh, corners, like so. Alright, so now we got all that, let's add these standing torches right in the corners of right here. Alrighty, so now you can choose to put spark powder or the angular gel for a blue glow or a spark powder glow, which is the orange. So I'm going to just get put all orange ones as well as put all the uh, trophies in there. Alrighty, so after you're done with that, we have all the artifacts and standing torch inside there. We want to now go up again, one more level, with the middle. Middle is basically the uh, trunk area as well as you can put... You can put doors in here if you want and put a ladder system so that way you want to change out the ornaments and stuff or re keep refilling uh, the standing torch. You can feel free to do that, but for this purpose, we're just going to keep it closed. Alright, so now we have a choice. You can use the stand, you can use these, uh, these ceilings again, or you can use the thatch ceilings, which I'm going to use because they look a lot better. It does more of a filler, in my opinion. It's up to you. Do what you want. Alrighty, so after that, now we do the same thing again. Grab our 8, grab our 9. You're gonna have to hit E because it's not gonna work. Like so. And you just do this all over again, all the way around. Basically, same thing. Put the uh, ceilings down. Or these are roofs, technically. Alright. Now, last thing we need to do is extend this up one more time. We could actually extend it twice, might as well. So extend it two more times. And now we put down the thatch roofing once more. Cover up these holes. And then as well as put the final layer down for the tree branches. Alrighty, so now we have the whole base of the thing. So now we gotta start with the next layer. So we gotta go one more up with our lovely wooden walls. And now we have to go out two on each way with the wood, because this is gonna act like branches again. Not really, but you know, it kinda gives it with the feel. And then we also need to add is wooden ceiling in between as well. There we go now. Now, we're back to the favorite part, putting our lovely batch, whatever these are, slopes, left and right ones.
Alrighty, so now we gotta put the nice trophies back as well. So let's put them right here. I don't want it to stick out too much. So I'm gonna actually put these a little bit inwards more than the bottom ones. That. Uh, oh, hello. Place, please. Thank you. Now feel free, if you don't like anything I've done, feel free to change it your own. I just wanted to give an example on how you can actually do this. Let's put this one here. Nice green one. Maybe this one right here. I need to get another one out. That's another green one. I don't want two green ones at the same intervals. What about this one? Oh wait, that's yellow. No, that's definitely yellow. There we go. Alrighty. So now I'll put two more. Alrighty, so I actually changed them out into the corners, just like in the picture, because then I kind of looked at it and was like, eh, maybe it'll look a lot better with the colors different from the bottom. So good job on that. So now, next thing you need to do, literally, more walls. Wooden walls all day, every day. And we actually can just freeze, because it's single player. And let's go out one more, because now all you need to do is put some thatch roofing right here. Like so. And finish it off with some of uh, the slopes. There we go. There's the second stage of the tree. Now the final stage, pretty simple, pretty easy. All we need to do is plop down one of these, one more of these, one more this way, one more that way, and we need to give ourselves uh, what is it? There we go. And there we go. And now you could actually, I'm just gonna do this as well, is put two more of these. Or not two more, but you know what I mean. Now, the last part, putting some of our thatch slopes in the wrong area. And I do want to advise that this is a very viable in single player as well as multiplayer with no flying. I'm just flying because it's a lot easier to show you what's happening with the building. Um, you can use a quetzal and stuff. Throw yourself up here with a uh, ape and screw up a lot like that. Um, but take your time and have fun. Maybe do it with a bunch of people and stuff. And yeah. So, with the final match, and there we go. Now, we could put, I'm actually thinking about, hold on, let's destroy that again. Let's put inside, let's put one of these. All right, let's just put actually three of them in here. Four, do I have any more? No. And now, let's put some of uh, angular gel. The angular gel blue, it burns blue. Put that up in here. You know, just give it some different colors. Although you could actually mix it. Two of these are spark powder and two of these are angular gel. If you want it. Cap it off. And now we just need is one pillar. We need two wooden pillars. Like so. Let's spawn two of these in. There we go. One, two, and last but not least, we need some trophy walls, which you actually can't spawn in. You actually have to make them yourself. Which is actually kind of funny. Also, you could actually put. We're gonna. Put, I'm gonna put a trophy up here. I think it'll be funny. Let's put one more. One 
right there. Now let's add some of these. Let's do it just a little lower so it doesn't, it looks like it's just like perfect with it. Last and final one, right there, perfect. And let's just put this artifact in it. I don't know what color it is, but... Oh, I think it's green. It's green. Alright, that's cool. Alrighty, so I changed it up just a little bit. I actually exchanged this down here with uh, angular gel and that up there with uh, spark power. So I just switched those two around so it has different colors. And I also put um, these guys instead, the brood mother heads, you know, just to change it up a little bit. So, but the next thing you need to do, if you want, because this is technically done, but we're going to do it a little different. We're actually going to paint each one of these outer ones from all the ceilings and roofing, not the inner ones, because we're going to do this light green. I'm going to paint it all dark green. Alrighty, so now, next thing, grab your light green. That was quartz green, by the way. And now you want to paint every single inner one that... Because it adds more you know, more depth, I would say, to colors. Instead of painting it all one big color. Now, you might want to do this during your building. But for the tutorial, I think it was a lot easier to show you after. And look at that guys this looks pretty impressive and no mods nothing just a full-on vanilla it takes a little time but you can do this for your holiday season put it on top of your base people on your server will be like wow what a Christmas tree um, it's very simple they could have probably been a more of a complicated one that I probably could have made with intersecting blocks but I feel like most people will be able to build this one and thank you forever posted to tell me to build this because it was actually a fun build very easy and yeah so tell me guys in the future what other things you want me to do for a building series on houses cathedral maybe you know different building stuff just tell me in the comments down below so till next time guys see ya and thanks for watching